Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, thank you very much for being here. And if you'd really like to, which I really would love you to, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Today, I want to talk to you about a passion of mine, which is all things hair care, particularly around fine hair or thinning hair, both very, very different, but all about optimizing the hair you have. I have a huge passion for that. So today we are going to be looking at the Sukin Volumizing Shampoo Conditioner range and also the volumizing thickening spritz spray. I absolutely love a three-part system because I ultimately believe that in the same range, the same product uh, variation, they build on one another. So let's get to it straight away. So fine thinning hair, why should I use a volumizing shampoo conditioner and why should I use a thickening uh, treatment spray or spritz spray? So fine thinning hair, doesn't matter who you are, can still be absolutely stunningly beautiful on a lady and really, really cool and really, really sharp on a guy. But it is all about the preparation. And of course that starts in the bathroom. So if you are gifted blessed, and I say blessed because we're, let's be honest, whatever hair type we've got, I don't think any of us would be particularly happy with. We would always want something or we'd always want something a little bit different or something a little bit more. With fine hair, thinning hair, with the right tricks, tips, know-how, you can still have amazing style. It's all about educating yourself and knowing what works for you. And that's why I love to explore with so many different shampoos, conditioners, and treatment sprays, and all and, and uh, sort of growth products to try and uh, help and assist the uh, scalp environment to help you grow as thick and as healthy as hair as possible. And all about really delivering that amazing style from using the right product, which is gonna work for you. So that's partly today what we're gonna be doing here. So Sukin, shampoo conditioner, let's start at the shampoo. So straight away, price wise. So shampoo conditioner, they are the 500 mil, straight away they're for fine and limp hair. So one thing I would always recommend for somebody who has got fine hair or thinning hair, that you want a product which is designed for your hair type. So it is absolutely categorically pointless if you've got very, very fine, thin, flat hair, you struggle for a style to hold, perhaps you're a you struggle for a curl to hold in your hair, perhaps you're a guy, and your fringe doesn't step that real like cool element of your style you want to really show, perhaps it doesn't really hold, perhaps your hair doesn't look very dense, perhaps it falls quite flat in any style you use. If you're going to be reaching for a shampoo conditioner system, anything which says smoothing or moisturizing, anything like that, is predominantly for frizzy hair, which is naturally sometimes quite thicker, coarser hair. So you want to really pick a product which is ultimately for the delivery of your hair. So for fine thinning hair or for fine hair, again, very, very different, but you'll find that they are kind of all thrown into one for one product, which is often volumizing. But you want something which is going to pack a punch in the volume, the thickness and the fullness in your hair. You want to be able to kind of bulk up what you've got. So if you imagine your hair, uh, cuticle your length, you want it to be eloped with great ingredients, powerful nutritionist uh, ingredients, that sort of lift that volume you want all of that to be delivered from the products you use so sukin is a really i'm just going to put that out there straight away it is a really great product okay it's a really really great product there are a few things i'm not so keen on which we're going to go through but ultimately if you're hanging around to think does it work or does it not for me then this one it does absolutely work. So there we go. But let's go into it a little bit more detail. So shampoo wise. So Sukin Australian Natural Hair Care. So volumizing shampoo, paraben free. Okay, boosts volume and adds fullness into fine limp hair with rice protein, pineapple, mango and papaya extracts for fine limp hair, 500 mils. Both 500 mils are seven pounds each and the same price again, uh, perhaps a little bit more off the top of my head actually for the thickening mist. I think I caught this on an offer here uh, in the boots here in the UK. Um, but do shop around for that because I do note that for Sukin products, the price does vary considerably on this. So shampoo, okay, let's tell you a little bit about it on the back here as well. So our lightweight and purifying shampoo boosts volume and builds fullness into fine limp hair. Rice protein assists to improve hair strength whilst a blend of pineapple, uh, mango and papaya extracts nourish the scalp, leaving hair feeling soft, silky and natural mango aroma refreshes the senses. So application, it says here, wet hair and massage Sukin's volumizing shampoo into the scalp to form a gentle 
lather, rinse thoroughly, and then of course you would follow with the conditioner. So shampoo, okay, so what I absolutely love about this, which we're just gonna read from here as well, naturally crafted with no mineral oils, no synthet synthetic, sorry, fragrances, no animal detractives, no artificial colorants, no harsh detergents, okay, no MEA or DEA or TEA, and then is it propylene glycon? Forgive me if that's absolutely wrong. No filophilates. <laughs> you can literally nothing. So nothing nasty in this product. So please save me from the embarrassment of reading all this out. No parabens, no silicones, no EDTA, no sulfates. Now, using this, does it feel like a sulfate-free shampoo? No, it doesn't, because often when I've used a sulfate-free shampoo, it still doesn't give me that cleanse, which I want. Even though I've got fine hair, I still want that real deep nourishment, but yet that cleanse as well to be able to lift and to be able to refresh my hair. And this does that. Straight away, you feel as though it's getting to work on the scalp. It's invigorating the scalp. Yes, it tells me there's rice proteins in here. Yes, it's got mango extract, papaya extract, pineapple, vitamin E. That's great. Really, really great. I love a product which has got all those natural ingredients in here as well. And just on the list of ingredients, I can see it's got aloe uh, juice in it, so aloe vera juice in here. It has got hydrogenized rice, 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 rice protein, which you'll very often find that that will have, or often you'll find hydrogenized wheat protein, which is all about packing sort of uh, texture to the hair. So if you've got fine hair, often you'll find that it's so conditioned, so soft, so sleek. But yes, of course it can be dry, but you'll find that often it will take too much nourishment and then you'll just have it almost as though it's absolutely flat to your head and it's just so soft and silky, it really struggles to hold a style. So hygienized wheat protein and in this particular product, uh, rice protein adds and tries to add uh, texture and uh, sort of almost like the scaffolding to a hairstyle. So it is a really great product. Now, the one thing I don't like about the shampoo is the smell. Even though it says mango smell, um, what does it say here? So it says a mango aroma refreshes the senses. I actually find that it's quite a sickly smell and it's not a particular smell I like. I like the product. It delivers on volume. It delivers on putting texture in my hair. Um, and it it is a really fantastic shampoo. It's exactly what I want in a volumizing shampoo. It does make my hair feel thicker. It does make my hair feel more volumized. But I have to be honest, I'm so, so sorry to soak in. Um, but I don't like the smell, I'll be honest. It's just quite overbearing, it's quite sickly, and it's not, I'm not a fan of that. Um, on the conditioner, the smell is much more of a, uh, it's almost like lifted. This is quite sort of almost like a, a very intense smell of it, and it's just a little bit overbearing, but on the conditioner, it's much more lighter and it's much more pleasant, um, and I do like that. The conditioner, you'll note that from the bottle, it feels quite thick, it feels quite clumpy, but it's not. It's light and it delivers on nourishment as well. So on the conditioner, it's a volumizing conditioner, it's paraben-free, energize and nourish fine limp hair with rice protein, pineapple, mango, and papaya extracts, fine and limp hair. Again, 500 mils as we've discussed, a lightweight and nourishing conditioner energizes the hair in volume and bounce, leaving it soft and weightless. Fine and limp hair is strengthened and hydrogenated with, uh, hydrated, sorry, with rice protein while an infusion of botanical extracts including pineapple, mango, and papaya, papaya, <laughs> papaya, Oh, goodness me, I'm really testing my words, don't I? Promotes healthy, vibrant, and glossy hair. A natural mango aroma refreshes the senses. But this uh, has got exactly the same description of the aroma, or the smell, rather, to you and me. Um, but this is much more nicer. The conditioner, it is, it feels thick, but it's nourishing. It, do, it really does feel, even on wet hair, that you've coated the hair and it's you've made it thicker. Now, that sounds crazy, doesn't it? But honestly, you have to try it because when you use this conditioner, straight away, you've shampooed your hair for a, you know, what, you've taken a, a minute or so to shampoo your hair. You've really invigorated your scalp. You really took some time to get that blood flow pumping on the roots and those follicles to really energize those follicles of all those in, great ingredients in the shampoo. The conditioner, a lot of people with fine hair will say stay away from the roots. Um, but you know what, your scalp needs that nourishment as well and very often it will really cry out for that nourishment. So go ahead with the conditioner on this one and you really do feel straight away, take it right through to the lengths of your hair and you do feel that it's clean. Now I don't want to say that it's a heavy clean product but you can feel it clean to your hair and it straight away makes your hair feel almost like it's a sponge. It's taking on thickness, it's taking on volume. 
with nourishment because this doesn't make your hair feel uh, really horrible, quite ratty to get the comb for or anything like that at all. Anybody who's got fine hair will know exactly what I mean, but this does do that. Then gently dry your hair off, okay, and then go in with this spray, which we're going to go in with just a moment. So this does make your hair feel nourished. It does make your hair feel conditioned. It is a nice product. Now, something which I wanted to pick up on the reviews, a lot of people are saying that this makes their hair feel dry. It makes their hair feel like it's got a lot of texture, rough. Now, this isn't a smoothing conditioner and shampoo system. This isn't something which is going to calm down frizz, because one of my bugbears with this and you'll probably note from my ha hairstyle around here as well, the little tiny hairs which are in your, uh, which naturally is all hair all growing through on all of us, um, for some reason I find this system makes those hairs stand up and it seems to be a little bit unruly to try and get them included in your style. So it can make them feel a little bit unruly, a little bit... Um, almost like that you'll get those flyaway hairs, which makes a style sometimes look, for me, a little bit sort of slightly untidy. So you have got to spend a little bit more time with the blow dryer, just calming those down. But it can be done, it can be done. So the shampoo conditioner system, I really, really like, but just bear in mind, it is not smoothing. It is conditioning, okay, but ultimately what you're trying to achieve here is volume and thicker feeling hair. So if you've got coloured hair, if you've got highlighted hair, which needs that extra nourishment, then you may want to supplement this range with a leave-in conditioner or kind of like a weekly treatment just to boost that as well because ultimately what you're trying to get here is thicker more volumized hair so I feel that they haven't necessarily put it across in the right light on the actual description it's got no nasty ingredients in there it's got no harsh detergents no uh, sulfates I'm not completely against sulfates by the way either but it is a real um, it's a real it's a product which doesn't have any of those nasties on, so it's a in, sorry, included. So it's a real treat for the scalp almost as well. If you've got fine thinning hair and your scalp is a bit of an issue for you, then this is going to be great to try. For me personally, as I say, I don't like the smell of the shampoo, but I do have the conditioner. And the thickening spray, or spritz as it's uh, called here, has got a similar s smell, but it is a great uh, product all round. It really does deliver on terms of volume and thickness and fullness. So here, so volumizing thickening spritz, paraben and silicon free, so no artificial feeling, all natural feeling uh, in the hair. Instantly add thickness and volume to hair with soy and rice protein to strengthen and help prevent breakage. So straight away, okay, going back to the hydrogenated uh, hydrolyzed, sorry, wheat protein, which we've discussed, which is often found in thin hair, thinning hair, or all of those types of textures, uh, textures of hair, you'll find that often a product which is aimed at that type of hair type, you'll find those type of products in here. So for this one, it's soy and it's rice protein in here as well. It's 125 ml, around the seven pounds mark, but do shop around because that does vary considerably. On the back here, it says, our thickening spritz instantly adds thickness and volume, okay, to fine limp hair. A blend of soy and rice protein strengthens hair from roots to ends to help prevent breakage. Now, I'll be honest, I can't comment on the breakage because my hair doesn't doesn't break. When I did have highlighted hair, lightened hair, uh, a, little back, uh, a little way back now, it must be nearly two years ago now, then I would be a little bit more concerned with volumizing sprays because it doesn't necessarily have the nourishment in it. Because bear in mind, going back to what it's aimed at, it's aimed at volume, thickness, getting that thickness in the roots, making the hair appear fuller, thicker, and helping you achieve much more of a fuller, thicker hairstyle, which lasts and lasts and lasts. Whereas if you've got colored hair, highlighted hair, uh, perhaps over-processed hair or naturally dry hair, you may need to supplement this range with a little bit more of a nourishing system. But this does, uh, it does work. Ultimately, it really, really does work. It's a nice product. It's got natural ingredients in here as well. After the shampoo conditioner system, um, after you've done that with your wet hair, part that through, spray this all over your roots, and you can take it through into the lengths and ends as well, and then just with a blow dryer, with your fingers, through your hair, starting at the roots, and I would always recommend to dry your hair in the direction, in the opposite direction of which you wear your hair. So for me today, I've wore it this side, so I've dried my hair naturally the opposite side. So you're going against the grain of your hair, you're working with those thickened ingredients in the spritz spray, in the conditioner, and the shampoo, and you're building that texture, that fullness, and that fullness, and that thicker feeling hair in the style. And I always love a three-part system like this because you've got your shampoo, which cleanses the hair, it leaves ingredients behind to aid the hair feeling thicker and fuller straight away. The conditioner calms frizz down, it adds bulk to the hair as well, and then you've got the thickening spray to go in and just 
finish everything, unify everything, and really build that scaffolding for a fuller feeling uh, sort of head of hair and just to help your style deliver in fullness and thickness. So it really is a great system. So I absolutely love this and I would absolutely recommend it. Be realistic in your intentions and in your, in your kind of view because if you're looking at something, yes, you want volume, yes, you want fullness, but yet you've got coloured hair, you've got highlighted hair, just be a little bit careful because as I say, you will need a little bit more nourishment because it's not dry on the hair, but it just isn't hugely high hydrating. So do look after your hair with this. And if you do spend some time uh, with a blow dryer after, you do get some really nice fullness, some really nice volume. And as I say, it does aid even the finest of hair. And I've got areas of my hair which is finer than others. And it really does just deliver. It gives me a nice amount of fullness in the hair. It really does. And it holds my style. I've just got a little bit of spray in my hair today, free spray. And this is all day. Okay. I've literally just before doing my clip on here, I've just pulled the comb through my hair a little bit. Um, but ultimately this is all day. It's lasted. It's stayed. The only thing I would say, is I've got quite a few sort of little hairs all over the place, which I don't necessarily like in my style. I like everything to be quite sleek and uniformed. However, not flat. I like there to be texture. I like there to be life in my hair. I've got fine hair. I've got a lot of it. But these products really do help me achieve and rock the style, which I really want. So ultimately, I hope you've enjoyed this clip. If you have any questions or queries for me, please leave them down below. And I will do my utmost best to get back to you as soon as I can. God bless. Take great care. And I will see you real soon. Bye for now.